Paul, the format of this book is interesting. It's, it's pretty simple. There's three kind of main parts to it. You sort of examine pastoral culture. Uh, and then you, you talk uh, kind of vertically and you talk kind of horizontally. But uh, it's a book of, it's a, it's a diagnostic tool. That's how I felt in reading it. And then you have some wonderful cures and answers. Talk a little bit about why you structured the book the way you did in that way. Well, I thought first uh, I wanted to help all of us, all of us who are committed to the Church of Jesus Christ, who love the church, to step back and look at our culture. You know, it's like family culture or your ethnic culture. You get so used to it, you, you're just used to it. You're in the middle of it and you don't see it clearly. But we could step back and say, what about the way we train pastors? What about the way we call pastors? What about the way we live with our pastors? So I wanted that cultural thing, but I'm persuaded that although the culture pushes us in directions, the danger is really inside of me, not outside of me. So I wanted to to provide a diagnostic for pastors that they could look into and see themselves with, with accuracy. But what good is diagnosis if it's not attached to cure? Hmm. And I mean, would you ever go to a physician who would tell you how sick you are and just walk out of the office? You'd, you'd think he was a horrific person. And so one of the things I love about Scripture is it's the world's best, most accurate, penetrating diagnostic, but it also, also offers you the world's only effective cure. Because wouldn't you agree that effectiveness of cure is always attached to accuracy of diagnosis? Sure. Bad di diagnosis, no cure. And for all of its penetrating honesty, I wanted this to be one of the most hopeful books you've ever read. Because I think that's the gospel. The gospel doesn't leave me wanting to jump out of a window. It leaves me thankful, it leaves me motivated, it leaves me encouraged, although I've wept my way toward encouragement. Mm -hmm.